Today we're taking a look at how to safely lift a vehicle. Make sure you're following the lift manufacturer's safety instructions and as well the vehicle manufacturer's safety instructions. Okay, you want to make sure you have all of your personal protective equipment such as safety glasses, uh, steel-toed boots, uh, if you need one, a back brace, and uh, also you want to make sure you're working with proper ventilation, so either use a vent tube or have the door open. Be sure to check the sticker in the driver's door to make sure the vehicle isn't too heavy for the rack. Use the mirrors to center the car onto the rack. There are two different types of mounting points on vehicles. The first is a unibody and it uses this pinch weld here that generally will have two cutouts where the pads on the rack will sit. The second type is a full frame vehicle. On these vehicles you'll need to set the pads on the actual frame itself. Next you'll go ahead and swing each of the arms under the lift point on the vehicle. Okay, so we have all of our pads set in position. We're getting ready to lift the vehicle. So most racks are going to have a hydraulic uh, pump with a mechanical backup. And so generally you're just going to have an on button which is going to power the motor, uh, which is going to put hydraulic pressure to two rams inside. And then uh, to, to lower the vehicle then we would release the pressure using this, uh, this tool here. The mechanical has mechanical locks as the vehicle is going up, just in case the hydraulics fail. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the lift, and I'm only going to run it just long enough until the pads just touch the lift points. Next, you'll want to walk around the vehicle and check all four lift points to make sure that they're exactly where you want them. Okay, so we've checked all four pads. Now we're going to go ahead and raise the vehicle about six inches off the ground. Okay, we're going to go ahead and give the vehicle a little shake just to make sure that it doesn't shift on the rack and if anything does happen that it's not too far off the ground. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and raise the vehicle to whatever height we want. And we're going to be mindful that if the hood is up, that it doesn't contact anything on the roof. Okay, so we have the vehicle all the way up. But before I go underneath the vehicle, I'm going to check each pad and make sure that it's still exactly where I want it so that I know I'm safe. Okay, we're going to go ahead and lower the vehicle. I want to first make sure that there's nothing or nobody underneath the vehicle. Then we're going to go ahead and raise the vehicle just a little to release the mechanical lock. And then we're going to pull it down and then we're going to go ahead and lower with the hydro. Okay, so when the vehicle is all the way down, you're ready to go ahead and kick the pads back and pull the vehicle out. For more great automotive how-to tips, please visit my YouTube channel.